Forge is by far the most popular Minecraft mod loader, and guess what? We're gonna show you exactly how to download and install it in this video. In order to do that, you'll first wanna to go to the second link in the description down below. That's gonna take you here. This is our in-depth text tutorial for getting Forge. It goes over everything. The video you're watching right now will be up here at the top, and then everything is outlined in detail here if you wanna go through things at your own pace, or if you have any issues. Sadly, we can't really cover everything in this video, but we can in this article, and it's all covered here. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow Download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official website. Now, the time I'm recording this, you'll still have to select Forge 1.20, and in order to do that, just click on the left-hand side, 1.20, and then select it from the drop-down. Once you see MC 1.20 here, you are good to go. Go under Download Latest and just click on Installer. That will then take us off to Add Focus. We're stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just put your hands up in the air, wave them like you just don't care, and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, you'll see a red skip button in the top right. Click that red skip button, and then Forge will begin downloading. Whilst doing that, how about a message from our sponsor, our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH, to set up a Forge or modded server in just a few clicks. We have a super easy one-click mod pack installer, and on top of all that, if you want to add your own mods, add your own custom plugins, plugins, anything like that, you can do so on your server quickly and easily. So no matter what type of server you want to start, vanilla, modded, mod packs, plugins, whatever you want to do, you can do it all at Simple Game Hosting and all on Minecraft 1.20 or above or below. We support everything. So go check it out at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start a Minecraft server quickly and easily. Nevertheless, here we are. We've downloaded Forge. You may need to keep Forge in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and minimize our browser here and we want to move Forge to our desktop. To do this, it's going to be in your downloads folder. So go ahead, access your downloads folder. And then once you're in there, go ahead and move Forge from here to your desktop. Once it's on your desktop, you can simply right click on it, click on open with, click Java and click OK. Now, if you don't have Java there, what you're going to want to do is go and get Java 17 from the description. Of course, Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods and Forge, because it lets you install all Minecraft mods, it is required for Forge as well. This is a super in-depth guide. It covers everything you need to know about getting the Java installed for Forge. So go check that out. You may also need to run the jar fix and this is linked in the description down below. Go check this out as well if you have any issues. Run the jar fix after you get Java if you're still having issues opening Forge. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and go back to the Forge mod system installer here. All you want to do is click on install client and click OK. Forge will now install. There are two reasons it may not though. The first is that you've never played Minecraft 1.20 before. If that's the case, go play it, right? Just go play Minecraft 1.20 without any mods or anything like that, latest release, and then once you get to the main menu, close out of it. It's that easy. Another reason is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. If either of those are open, close out of them, reopen up Forge, and install it like we just did. Nevertheless, as you can see, it's successfully installed Client Profile Forge. Click OK, and it will close out of that. We can delete Forge from our desktop. Now what we want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher and play Minecraft using the Forge mod loader. Now for me, the Forge profile is already selected. As you can see, if we click here and next to the play button, there it is, Forge, good to go. But if it's not there for you, what do you do? Go up to installations at the top. Once you're here, if you've got Forge, click play, click play again. But if not, make sure modded is checked. As you can see, when I deselect modded, it disappears. If I check modded, there it is. But if you still don't have Forge here, go ahead and click new installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting because that's the best place to start a modded Minecraft Forge server. And then what we want to do is click on the version drop down box here. Once we've done that, we want to select release 1.20 Forge. Right here it is. Go ahead and select that. And then we want to click the resolutions drop down box and select a resolution. You actually don't have to do that, but I'm just doing it so you can see once we get in game. We can click create now and we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly is 1.20 Forge. Hover over this, click play and click play again. And now Minecraft is going to open up with Forge installed. It's that simple to get Forge up and running. But you're probably wondering how you can add mods to Forge. Well, that's actually super simple. And we do have a dedicated guide on adding mods that you can check out in the description down below if you want to check that out. But the short version of that is simply when you're here, just go to mods and click on open mods folder. Then you want to drag and drop any mods you want to install in here. As you can see, I've already got Journey Map and Spark in there because it's movie magic. So you'll drag and drop your mods here. Just make sure they are 1.20. Forge mods, fabric mods will not work. Mods not for 1.20 will not work. So you need to make sure both of those are the case and then you're good to go. You can just go ahead, create a new world, whatever you want to do and check out your mods. As we can see here, journey map is working. Um, it's generating right now. There we go. 
boom. And we can also run a Spark profile because, well, that's what Spark does. It tells you what is wrong with Minecraft and lag and things like that. So there we have it. That is how you can download and install Forge in Minecraft 1.20. If you have any issues installing Forge, be sure to one, check out that article we linked at the beginning. But two, we've got this, which is how to fix broken Minecraft mods. It goes over tons of different stuff and it's helped over 200,000 people at this point fix different issues that they have with their Minecraft mods. So go check that out if you do have any issues with your mods after you've gotten Forge installed. But at this point, this tutorial is over. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.